Where the hell are you? Ugh, I hate touching all these clothes. It is kind of fast. Uh, hi, Stella. Hey, Max. Welcome to the end of the world. Do you want me to check anything in? Uh, no thanks, Stella. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, thank God. That boy creeps me out. Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. What girl? She had blue hair, dressed like a punk. I've seen her putting up those Rachel Amber posters. I'm stuck here, so I'm sorry I can't help you. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that. I'm here for the job. Do you notice anything unusual about the Vortex Club tonight? Yeah, I noticed they don't give a shit about Kate Marsh. I'm glad for the job, but I think Principal Wells should have canceled the party. Guess I'm not cool enough. Yes, you are, Stella. You're smart, honest, and you bust your ass for Blackwell. I hope everything turns out your way in the end. Oh, thank you, Max. I really appreciate that. Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm actually not okay. I, I just need to find Nathan. And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. Yourself. Why, when I have Max Caulfield at my side? Good luck. Yes, I I'm back. You scared me for a sec. I was ready to duck. Didn't think you'd come back. I'm so glad I could warn you about all those sneak attacks. You kind of are a superhero. You always choose to help me. It reminds me of the only poem I can quote by a Robert Frost. I could use one moment of poetry right now. Okay, but this is like poet karaoke, so don't prick. I shall be telling this with a sigh. 
somewhere ages and ages hence. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. That was beautiful, Alyssa. It was exactly what I needed to hear. Thanks for not cringing, and thanks for watching my back. Blackwell would be so much cooler if we all did that for everybody else. But you're a great start, Max. Yes, you scared me. Look at this. I'm at my first and only Vortex Club party. I know. This week was so shitty that I just wanted to be around a bunch of people trying to have a good time. Even if I hate most of them. Victoria doesn't seem to hassle you like she does me. Or Kate. She must know I'd punch her in the face. I probably should just for Vortex Club posterity. I'm surprised that Blackwell is having a party after Kate almost jumped off a roof. I guess people are happy that Kate is okay now and they can party again. I'm just happy she's drawing again. She seems much better, and her mother is being so supportive for a change. Kate deserves that. I saw that the video got taken down, so I, I hope nobody posts it anywhere else. Is that naive? Look how fast people here forgot about Kate. They'll find some new Blackwell drama and forget about her video. So it goes. No doubt. Uh, but I actually have to go now. I'll talk to you later, Alyssa. Not anymore. Yo, Maximum Overdrive, about time you got here to island. save this lame rave. This is my last Wanna get ripped? Uh, you look pretty ripped already, Justin. And not happy. Why did you even come tonight? Where else could I go in Arcadia Bay on a Thursday night? Besides, Dana is here. Just not with me. So yes, this party sucks. Rachel Amber won't be coming either. Damn, I was thinking about Rachel and Chloe tonight. If they showed up together right now, shit would end. Rachel could always shut Victoria down. Good for Rachel. I wish I could have seen that. Max, I know I'm twisted, but your face looks so fucking intense. And your voice sounds different. You okay? How about a quick dab? Uh, no, I'm, I'm cool, Justin. And I have to get going. Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. Fucking A, Maximus. You're right. I'm only torturing myself here. Plus, I'm too loaded. It's time to get my board and grind. I'm not in the mood, but still, this could be an interesting shot. No, seriously, I'm out of here. Oh, and everything isn't so fuzzy. Oh, gross. How did this even get here? Somebody's either having sex or throwing up. Or both. Ugh, Max. Maybe you're not the only one who has to get sick. Chloe must be around. The tide is turning. Excuse me.
me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? Sorry, but I'm on the list. Okay? I know that Max Caulfield is not on any list for the Vortex Club. Nice try. Listen! No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. Talked Daniel into coming. Just as oh, Daniel. That's what yes. I like about Warren. Max makes an interest. <laughs> I only came to the party because of you. I'm glad to see you out and about. By the way, have you seen Nathan Prescott tonight? No, I've been hanging with Brooke since I got here. Max, are you okay? Your face looks so serious. Uh, I know. I'm. I'm not in party mode tonight. You look like you're on a secret mission. This is where it's going to end. For Rachel's sake. Well, if you want to hang out with Brooke and me, we're here for you. Thanks, Daniel. I have to stay on my mission now. I hope you stay on yours and become a great artist. Well, I'll be celebrating someday in a museum, Max. Adios. Hello, Brooke. Max, I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex Club party. I didn't expect that either, but... I really need to find Nathan. Have you? No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub and his club. You're not the only one. Maybe this party will be the end of the vortex. But now I don't have to pretend like I care anymore. Have you seen Warren tonight? No, but we're going to map out our drive-in date later. I was just talking to Daniel about a road trip next week to the Portland Art Museum. Oh, that is so cool. He needs a friend. I bet Daniel will be a great museum guy. I'm more into science than art, but what kind of a selfish fangirl would miss a Miyazaki exhibition? You're not selfish, bro. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise and kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Check to see if you can fly. I don't think having superpowers would make my life easier. With great power comes great bullshit. I don't know. It would be pretty kick-ass to battle supervillains over Arcadia Bay. Well, the night is still young, Brooke. And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. <laughs>